Hi there, signs of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do your reading. I hope you guys are doing good. Thank you so much for the support with the private readings, guys. I have three different prices. They are, um, I think that they are priced good for everybody during this time. Reasonable prices. And um, thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting, subscribing, all of that. We're going to do a breakthrough spread. So this is going to be a breakthrough pyramid. It will have your thing that you need to break through or whether that be a pattern or whatever that is your challenge your breakthrough your strength and your outcome and then the advice spot will be there too so let's see what we have for Scorpios tonight or whenever you're watching this I guess Ooh. All right, so that's that deck. Then we're gonna pull from another deck. I'm gonna pull some tarot. <clears throat> Bear with me while I get these cards out here, okay guys, because it takes just a minute, I promise. It won't take too long. pull from the 108 deck too. Okay, that's part of it. <laughs> that's part of it. And then the Kipper deck, and then I'm I'm done, and then we're gonna start the reading. I promise. <clears throat> All right. So what do we have? Um, the card that wanted to obviously be thrown out here, Scorpio, is baggage. So this is about unresolved issues. It's about uh, letting go of your baggage, giving it to spirit, giving your worries to uh, source energy, saying, here you go, angels, this is what I have. I'm ready to move on to the next phase. And that's what it says here, too, is you're ready to move on to the next phase. You are ready. There's a new long journey up ahead. So let's see. Yeah. There is a new journey up ahead, the Ouroboro, the Great Serpent. So you've been waiting for this. More than likely, you've been waiting for this. It's a new chapter in your life. The Ouroboro is the death, the rebirth cycle where uh, things die out and then they're, uh, by the grace, right, given uh, another chance uh, at a different, something different. So something new, something different. There's a bunch of jewels on this. So there's things to learn and there's things to gain from this new cycle. So that's what we're having a breakthrough about in this reading is what is it that's going to get you through to this next phase, okay? It has to do with you possibly coming out of your shell with the Hermit card. Um, the Hermit has done the work inside. Uh, the Hermit has spent time to themselves has isolated themselves maybe and it's for the purpose of self-growth it's discovery it's reflecting back on what was and then reflecting on what do you want this new chapter to look like that's what i really get from this it's like you've done that inside work and now it's time to emerge you have something to invent with the inventor card this is about innovation um Brown breaking, breaking, groundbreaking achievements. It says the mastermind, the um, 
So what is it that you thought of while in this hermit stage? That's what I want to know because it brings in unexpected income with the unexpected income card 27. So this is what we need to have a breakthrough about. How can you have this new cycle? How can you get what it was that you were wanting uh, when you did that research, that inner work, right? Well, there is a challenge of being flexible being okay with divine detours in life. Page of Swords may have to do with communication. Um, also, I get, um, I pick up a challenge of um, just communicating with your body, knowing what signals are, what, what, what it's telling you. You know, if it's signaling something to you, then what is it saying? Um, so the Page of Swords is about that. To me, in this reading, it's about the communication with you and yourself. Wow. Okay. Then we have the Lover's Energy. It's part of the challenge. This is going to be a major crossroads that you will come to where you make this decision. It could involve um, a soulmate energy or somebody new entering your life. I also have the bodybuilder, power, strength, forceful, determined. So there's something about your determination here that is possibly being challenged at this time. All right, so self-improvement and all of those good things. What is your breakthrough? Oh, wow. Oh, I love it. Okay, calcification. This card is like burning off the excess. Anything that does not belong there must go. It's desire. It's passion. It's what uh, what is ready to begin after all the old has burned off. That's your breakthrough. So what needs to be burned out? What toxins need to be released? Or things like that. Also, the birds, they are pointing out the birds to me and the Page of Swords being people talking or, um, yeah, people talking messages that you're getting too and i have the magician hello the magician the magician is with burning desire and passion here your breakthrough has to do with what you have actually manifested with all of the um well the spirit that you are in control of all of these elements right it's what to do with that so your breakthrough is manifest it you can manifest so manifest it there's something about <clears throat> With this judgment card and microphone, there is something about getting over or being uh, flexible when it comes to if your breakthrough has something to do with you speaking, speaking out loud, communicating. Um, it says news, trending, broadcast, make known, public speaking. So this challenge could have something to do with public speaking. It very well could. You could be a singer or somebody that... Um, I don't know, has something to say in front of others. And so that might be your challenge in a way and your breakthrough might be to release judgment on what other people have to say or what they think about it. You know what I mean? And just do it because that's what you're being told is like, just do it. Just do it. Say what you have to say. Speak up. Oh, you have a prayer being answered. Okay, so Neptune is here. This is in your strength spot. Okay, Neptune is your uh, connection, your prayer, your connection to um, the divinity or divine, your compassion, your forgiveness for others. But it's also about, um, you know, like <clears throat> whoever I'm talking to with this group of Scorpio knows that your power, your power is in your prayers. In a sense, I'm getting somebody who's like a prayer warrior who can just... Uh, they speak it and it happens, right? And and if it doesn't happen right away, then we just keep on and we keep on and we don't give up um, in our talk with God, with higher source, with our angels. This brings about miraculous things. So I would think that you have already witnessed or seen miracles in your life. And so that is now part of your strength is to know Yes, these things, good, great things can happen. You've also been through a lot of heartache. You've been through a lot of sorrow and suffering with the Three of Swords. It's now part of your strength. So you're turning that into your strength. Whatever sadness, whatever sorrow that you went through, whatever kind of heartbreak, it built you up. Okay, it made you stronger. 
and then here's the yes so they're, they're just like confirming oh wow they're also confirming to me that whatever you've prayed for whatever you continually to pray for um, or send out there in intention while you're burning your candles however you do it um, it is being answered with a big yes so the universe says yes this is part of your strength is you're divine and you get what you want also part of your strength is your firm foundation with the house you probably take really good care of yourself you have a firm foundation of which you stand of which you know that you can, you can uh, build upon and so that's showing up also what is this outcome oh wow mobility we are traveling possibly traveling the king of wands whatever this is is gonna work out and you're gonna be inspirational the Quicksilver, if you think about Mercury, you know, it was the uh, little, those little thermometers that I had. I remember those in elementary school um, that were glass and they had Mercury in them. And if they broke apart, there was a bunch of little balls or beads that went everywhere. Because it's in two states at one time, this doesn't mean transition to me. What this means is that you are literally like a being that has one foot here, one foot on the spirit side, and you always do. And you're always embodying these two states or two ways of being. The King of Wands says, here, let's build it. Let's create it. Whatever you're doing is going to be inspiring to others. And you could probably expect a lot of uh, mobility or travel. And sometimes it might be like, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going, but you're going to go here, there, and everywhere with this. Whatever it is that you're building. It is the pathway it is the pathway the outcome is the pathway that leads you to um, a success the king of wands is also somebody who is probably more than likely going to be well off because of what they've built okay <clears throat> the cat is coming in it's about independence it's about um it says disinterested uh what i want when i want it could be that you're calm and cool and that you're able to disengage from things um that you're able to be like um you know i'm unbothered by this or at least send off the aura that says i'm unbothered at this time and that is um for one thing super sexy for one thing to be just um you know whatever it is what it is i'm still building this i'm still doing this and that's what i also see with all of this too okay your advice don't give a shit about what other people say literally the despicable face and the page of swords and the microphone say that you have something really powerful to broadcast to get out there and your advice is not to worry about any kind of self-righteous eyes that are cast upon you don't worry about other people's judgments um, we are all the same don't worry about those judgments all right so I have the ace of cups and I have the message of poverty and unlikely in the advice. I'm going to take this as saying that there's other people, okay, with this brand new thing coming in, with this new beginning coming in from spirit, saying that this is the pathway, they know that it's going to lead your guides, your angels are leading you to it inspiring you to run with your inspiration with your passion others are going to look and say that won't work others are going to look and say well that's crazy that's silly or you can't do that or you won't work at that or you'll always be in lack if you do that well it is unlikely that these people have anything good to say and it's unlikely that anything that they say will actually turn out when you follow your passion do what's in your heart do it's in your heart because this is here for you and the and the, see that the biggest challenge in this whole reading is a breakthrough of burn out all the negativity burn out anybody else's opinions anybody else's thoughts on how things should be what they're predicting or what they're telling you is unlikely okay so that's what I'm getting for your main message today. I'm going to pull something from an oracle card, and then I'm going to wrap up this reading. It was a good reading. It was a good one, guys. This can be anything from love to a new experience. I think it's going to be a lot of things, as you see many streams here with the water, many streams. And let's see what the white light oracle has to say also here. Scorpio, this one wants to come out. Oh, wow, look. 
you have, you have the spirit out. You have such wise discernment, and you're able to see see through people almost like they're transparent here. With the spirit out, it also says of 852 hertz. I will get into what that means, but this is your clarity of mind and your ability to really um, see through situations. Like these these other energies cannot see with the sight that you see. And so, therefore, yeah, they might always have something to say. I'm getting, like, naysayer vibe on that, on those people. <clears throat> All right, so the spirit of the owl. Recalibration to a higher order of divine purpose is in progress. And it is not always a smooth ride. But it is safe for you to be fearless as you gently hold space for new ways of thinking, living, and seeing to emerge. You are encouraged to let go of opinions and belief systems that cannot support you in higher frequency states. You shall soon recognize a truth that cuts through confusion and it frees you to proceed with love, peace, and higher understanding. It's exactly what it's about. Wow. Okay, so 852 hertz is the frequency of higher self-connection, the clearing of the mind and awakening of genius insight and higher understanding. And just totally be aware that not everybody's going to understand this. That's why it's given to you is because you are the person that could grasp it and then broadcast it. And those that can resonate, even if they can't resonate right away, they will remember what you've said because of the spirit, the power that you hold when you say things. They'll remember it and they would even come back to it when it does click with them. So the point is to get it out there with the microphone. That's your breakthrough. That's your breakthrough. Okay, I have number four. I am stable. I think you're building something, especially with the king of wands. I think you're building something. Seven, I am brilliant on the bottom. Four says you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You're the hard... Uh, you do the hard work and you have perseverance. So I am stable. Zero, zero is your angels that are asking you to pay attention. They're sending you signs and synchronicities at this time. And so they want you to go inward with meditation, especially with the hermit, because that's part of this new cycle, right? For your downloads to, to figure out what is it that, they, that they're wanting you to broadcast, all right? So I am observant. So without any delay, be observant. 27 is your expressive, and it's about your ability to speak and value. Um, well, that's it feels like an energy that just emanates from you of saying, you know, this person values freedom of expression. They speak their mind. They're not afraid to, um, and they're not, they're not afraid to, uh, you know, do it no matter what other people think. And that's really important. That is a certain type of spiritual strength here. And so 27, it says, I am expressive. And that's what I've got for you, Scorpio. I'm sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye.